Okay, this is jaw number 19963 Dynon Avionics. That's D Y N O N Avionics. We've been out here before, done some work. We did some seal coating like seven years ago. And uh, they'd like to pretend they want to get a price for seal coating, but they also want to do a little bit of asphalt repair. They want to do a little bit of curb repair and some striping. Uh, as far as the striping goes, you'll have quantities on uh, uh, Google Drive for all the restriping around this building. You've got the neighbor's building right here, and you can definitely see the definitive line between their property and Dynon Avionics. These guys had their place seal coated probably a few years ago. They've got some alligator cracking, but it seems to have improved the look of the asphalt. Over here, seven years ago, we did not do any seal coating over here, and I think over time it's gotten worse. Um, I told them that we could seal coat it, and it'll give it a better appearance to the front of the building, but it will not solve his problem with failed asphalt. So, that being said... Uh, there's a couple areas that we need to address this little area right here could use a small little um, patch of asphalt uh, the whole area needs to be done but my recommendation was leave it alone we'll try to clean it out of the little bit of debris that's in there and then we could seal coat over it so it'll look like the neighbors but he still has failed asphalt Okay, um, down here, you've got a raised area right here. Everything around it has sunk. You can see the ring right there where it's all lifted. We did that asphalt patch where those two cars are, or three cars, because it was puddling water. Well, now the puddling of water ends up right here. So what they'd like to do is they'd like to take this area right in here, fill it in, as well as down in this little section and fill it in so that the water will flow either to the left of this lid and kind of make its way this direction and over towards the curb because the catch basin is way down there by that van or the water is going to end up veering off to the right like it's doing and making its way over to the catch basin which is over by the fire lane stencil so we need to take out a 14 by 6 area here so six foot over and 14 feet and then at the same time I said what we could do is take out the speed bump because he doesn't want any of them but I figure in order to help this area with flow of water the water is gonna travel this direction but then again and then it's gonna get kind of stuck right here because that lids higher and it starts to taper down towards the drive aisle. This whole area here that's been patched is higher than this area right here. So if we rip out that speed bump, we could get water flow heading in this direction to uh, around this ring and then hopefully the water will channel itself past that catch basin and over towards the curb. So I said uh, 14 foot by six in this area right here to kind of get it lifted and flowing that direction and then cutting out a 24 foot by four foot or 25 foot by four foot piece here. Cut out the speed bump and just replace with asphalt. Okay, let me show you some curb areas. So curb repair, there's a piece right there from the expansion joint to the corner. You've got 11 feet there. Making your way to the back of the building by the loading dock, you've got this section of curbing that's right here. We'll start at that expansion joint, remove all of that curbing, which looks like it's a 6x8 curb. Goes all the way to the wall. And you've got 35 feet of curb there, here at the back of the building. Uh, as far as crack fill goes, uh, we can clean out and do this crack all the way down. 
Okay, all the way down here. So you've got 300 feet of crack fill on the back side, plus another 300 feet of crack fill around the front. So a total of 600 feet of crack fill. All right, let me take you around to the uh, south side of the building. Okay, I'm at the south side of the building, right at the corner. And you can see a line here where we seal coated the last time we were out here. Um, there's a definitive line right there and I think all of this could be seal coated as well. So in my aerial map, I'm going to include seal coating up to this speed bump here. And we'll probably have to work around this Connex because I would imagine it's gonna stay there. So you've got some power washing to do out here. Day of power washing. Um, some of the crack fill that I accounted for. Then you've got uh, seal coating. So the seal coating, like I said, will come around the south part of the building. I already looked at the north end, east end, all the way around and to this loading dock and in an imaginary line going down where the speed bump is. <clears throat> Looking at curb repair. Uh, they didn't know whether to rip this curb out or not. I said it could be uh, a challenge to clean this and paint it. Uh, it's over the years, you can say it's been beaten up. But we will have to clean the curb and he wants to get the curbs repainted. We're going to have to fix some of this curb though. So we're going to go from that expansion joint to that expansion joint plus that one. So you've got 25 feet right there. Then you've got this other area up here, which is like another eight feet. So I guess my, my recommendation would be is that we would take out uh, from this, exp 